Hey YouTube, this should be it for this one. Uh, this thing, so far, I haven't I haven't handed it to the range. With any luck, I'll be going up north with my buddy, and we'll be putting it through its paces and getting it a proper sight in. But this thing so far is outstanding. The build, the construction, the aluminum, the weight, all make up for all the reasons I wanted it. Uh, this rifle, I took to the range, I put the ACOG on it, and the first four rounds went in the exact same hole. And I'm not talking about a large clover leaf, but I'm talking about the same hole. And it was very impressive. So that was only at 25 yards because I want to see where it'd be because the sight wasn't sighted in for this rifle. And it was well enough that I popped the thing off, popped the ACOG off, and ran irons the rest of the day. I was holding about a palm-sized group at 100 yards with 55 grain wolf. So, I'm impressed with how it shoots. I would like a better front sight. These M buses are all right. They seem heavy duty. I don't like a lot of things about them, but I'll get into that in another vid. But I do like a lot about them. But back to the T1. The gun was going to be long range. Long range 223, I know a lot of guys laugh at, but I think this can do it. And it shoots so well that I wanted to run it out to be able to do 600 yards. But then I thought about it, and if things really got bad, what would I do with it? I, I'm going to hide if anybody's that far. I'll be honest with you. I don't need a fight. I don't want to be Rambo. What I want to do is just get by. So if it's clear in the house because I got burglars, or and I didn't get the, the 12-gauge or the handgun, or if it's because things really get crappy and i got to defend an area, the spread dot's faster in that scope, even though that ACOG is amazing. But uh, I have that gun for that. This is for something else. Starting off at 8.2 pounds, I wanted to keep it light. So the ACOG being three quarters of a pound or more, and this being, well, without this mount, a half a pound lighter than that one, I decided the T1 was the way to go. I thought about another Comp ML3, which I have on my SOCOM, but this thing is all of that and less of a package. So let's get into why I put the release on this side. A lot of guys are going to say I got it on here backwards. It's not backwards. I chose that for a reason. That reason is, on this rifle, you're not running a charging handle here, like an AR-15. Your charging handle is up here, in front of your sight. What I didn't want to do is have that hanging off this side and have to manipulate my charging handle. Now you see there's plenty of room with where I have it mounted. It wouldn't be an issue. But under stress, if things got crappy, I don't want to reach up and try and grab this and charge the gun. Or possibly almost knock off my throw lever. This being ran on the left side, my sling being ran on the left side, I didn't want anything else on this side it could hang up on. And plus, if the gun is going to be swinging and hanging on me here, that's one more nub that doesn't need to be rubbing on everything else I've got on at that time. And that's all smooth sailing right here. I mean, there's nothing hanging out, sticking out, and polishing my gun on YouTube. But uh, you see, the thing is just set up well that way. So that's why I ran the mount on the other side. See if I can give you guys a better view through this thing. I gotta extend the stock, hold on. So you see the dot? I'm trying to get this camera right. The dot isn't that bad. I thought four minute of angle would be horrible for me, but it really looks pretty nice. That, what way? That way. It's all backwards with the camera. So you see how nice and clear it is? That's turned up pretty high. You can actually make the dot smaller by turning down the power. But that's what she looks like. Where the charging handle's at. This side's all clear. That side's set up. It's only sticking out about as far as the on off knob and the adjustment for the rear sight. So I'm not losing a lot. If 
by throwing that out the right side, especially if you're counting the, the hinge for the stock. I'm not, it, I'm not adding a lot to the width of the weapon on the right by running it that way, and it won't mess with the ejection. So those were the reasons for that. The sight is so far awesome. It points like I can't even tell you, and seems very, very robust. I'm happy with the purchase. I can't wait to run her real good and see what it comes up with, and how well it holds zero popping on and off with this little mount. If I find that it's crappy, I'll make a vid on it, but it's expected to be good, and uh, if it is, I probably won't have anything more to say on it. So that's pretty much it, other than a shout-out to my buddy, Joe Diesel. You beat me to it, brother. You got your T1 first, but uh, until your stock shows up, man, I got you. I got you, bro. This thing is sick. I didn't need a folding stock. I just wanted a telescope in stock. But uh, forearm's pretty good. I thought about buying the polymer a couple times, buddy. I like the look of it and that it's covering more of it. It's probably lighter. But uh, this thing's pretty bad. Uh, the gun balance as well, feels well. It's not too heavy with that scope on there. I think you made the right choice getting the T1 as well. Uh, your mount on there is set up for a lower one-third if I saw it right. From the height, I could be wrong. I don't know which manufacturer you got, buddy, but uh, check out this LaRue. Check out this LaRue. I think you'll really like it and what it has to offer for you to keep your gun lower and lighter. Being that these start off heavy. I mean, it's a pound heavier than that thing, and that thing's decked. Well, not with all the stuff on it, but starting out from the factory, it's a pound heavier, and they're very similar. That one with a pound scope and the flashlight and the AFG weighs about what this one weighs with the T1. So, and the bad lever. So, buddy, I told you I had it. Here it is. Hope you like it. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon, brother. I'll send you an email. But, Joe Diesel, you win, buddy. I didn't go with the ACOG, but I sure didn't go with an OEO tech. All right, man, take it easy. Everybody else, thanks for watching if you made it to this point.